Do you have any advice to other people out there who have advanced cancer, who are trying to work and keep all the balls juggling in the air? I think it's back to my point about it's incredibly personal. So um, the support groups that I'm in, you've got people who have never gone back after primary, people who have changed jobs, people who are having real difficulties trying to work with an employer. They want to work, but it's it's proving quite difficult to find a way to do that. And then you've got people like me that um, are able and, and in their job to do that. Um, so it's not really a one size fits all for me. So what I would say to the person is cut yourself some slack and just, you've got to do what's right for you and, and for the company, not what, just because Lynn Connolly's working in that way, or I look at somebody over there that's, yeah. You know, there's people who um, I look at their lives and they're spending their time on things I think I would like to be spending my time on. But at the moment for me, I want my kids to say, mum's doing this job when we go yes. on holiday and we do, you know. Um, so you can always look to somebody else, but just get clear about what is right for you um, in your set of circumstances and find a way to work with your employer over time because it changes it's messy yeah. um to just not lose your confidence not to lose your assertiveness um but work with them to find a way to do that and um you know touch wood i've been incredibly well supported to to do that through successive um successive colleagues and bosses um, and it just makes such a difference fantastic advice i guess follow your own path and do what's right for you